go. Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is All Skate Shop YouTube channel. We're here in Amsterdam in the Fondel Park. And uh, today, whoop, we're gonna teach you some braking techniques again. And these are um, the snowplow and the pizza point techniques. So if there's like a, suddenly a bicycle coming and you want to brake, boom. That's the snowplow. That's the one we're gonna learn today. It's uh, spring right now, so the weather should be nice, but of course it's the Netherlands. So it's uh, super wet, uh, there was just some rain. And actually we're gonna use the rain in our advantage today because it's good if it's a little bit slippery for this technique because you want to slide. I'm gonna teach you how to get into, into that slide today. For this technique, uh, you first wanna do some um, basic exercises, which you're gonna do standing still. So the first thing you need to learn is to stand in a, in a V-shape like this with your feet. This is uh, already complicated for some people. And uh, the tip that I want to give to you is to make yourself really strong. So you need to like tense up all your muscles from your belly button down uh, to be able to keep this position. And then also we're gonna do the, the A-frame position like this. And it's the same thing. A lot of people then just suddenly start rolling, but you need to like, Tense up all your muscles, hold it like this. Okay, you can try this a couple times to do this, um, the standing still position. And then you're gonna transfer from a V to an A-frame. So, all right, a lot of people first, uh, they kind of like get stuck when they're wide and then they cannot uh, close anymore. Just try it a couple times, start, with the, uh, start at the beginning again, go wide and then close again. The advice that I want to give you is uh, first, you, go, you push your feet to be wide. So you just like make your feet wide and then you also go forward. But when you still have speed, you need to transition from, from the V to the A and then pull your foot together. Your toes should then barely touch. You go wide, let your toes almost not touch. Boom, like that. And then you can also do it backwards. Just do a little lemons on the ground like this back and forth, and every time you do it, you can do it a little bit wider. So you really want to go as wide as you can. Whew. Really wide. Do this like, I don't know, like a 20 times or 30 times. So you get really comfortable with it. Then, it's especially the last part that we're gonna focus on today. We have an entire other video, how you can build this limit technique uh, into a more like flow skating style. This one is it's called flow skating. We did it a couple weeks ago. So check that one out on our YouTube channel as well. But now we're gonna use this technique just to break with. And we're gonna focus on the last part. So you go wide and then you use it to stop. We're gonna only focus on the, on the last part now. Get a little bit of speed, go wide and then try to stop. A common mistake with people is if they first try this, is that they uh, don't have their feet in a perfect A position, but they go a little bit too much like this. And then it's way harder. So it's the, the pizza point stop where we're doing now, it should be a fairly uh, quick and short stop. So it shouldn't like take really long and slow, but it should be pretty quickly and, and decisive in a 90 degree angle with your toes pointing towards each other. Let me show you a real quick one. You go make some speed, you go wide, and then boom. That's a perfect one. Now let me show you the one that most beginners do, is they go not so wide, and then they go slowly with the feet towards each other, and then the foot end up being parallel and you still have some speed. You wanna avoid that one. Don't do that one. Uh, it doesn't break as hard. So you wanna learn to transfer the one that I just showed you into the perfect one. Um, if you end up with your foot going like this, going parallel like this, then just take it a little bit slower the next time. Just go a little bit slower. Also, go as wide as you can to begin with, and then as much with your toes inwards as you can. All right, practice that, I guess, uh, a lot <laughs> until you master it completely. But every time you do it and you have it successful, you can go a little bit faster. Go wide 
and then boom, stop. Then you notice that there's gonna come a lot of force on your legs. And that's actually what you want. You want there to be force because the more force you feel on your legs, the more braking power you have. So you can also actively search for that tension and where you find the tension, that's also where you find your brake. Okay, when you are able to do it a little bit, then you can find a nice line. So there you have some water. I don't want to be in the water. So I'm gonna stop right in front of the water, go wide and then boom, stop perfectly right in front of the water. Find something to play with and uh, make a precision stop out of it. So first you're gonna do it like just anywhere and then later you can make a precision stop out of it. All right, so that's everything about the, the pizza point stop. And now we're gonna move on to the snow plow. And the snow plow is much more how skiers break. And you never see skiers go small with their legs because then their skis will cross. I don't know what will happen, but it won't be good. A skier would keep their feet wide when they go down the, the slope, right? This is a beginner skiing technique. You can see every beginner doing this. And um, a ski is, of course, is on the snow and snow is kind of like um, smooth. And uh, the asphalt is really grippy and our wheels are really grippy. So that's one problem we have. And that's why it's a lot better to practice this when it's a little bit wet like today. Go out and skate, even when there's a little bit of uh, moisture on the ground, because it will actually benefit your technique. So the difference between the snowplow and the pizza point is that you keep your feet wide. And then when I say this to students in our classes, which you can of course book on our website, thisisol.com, I notice that it's, it's hard for them to really execute this. So because you really, really, really need to keep your feet in the same position, like a skier. Let me show you what a typical beginner would do if I would say, that they need to keep their feet wide. You get some speed, you go wide, and then they go less wide and less wide and less wide, wide after all. Now let me show you the way it's supposed to be done. You get some speed, you go wide, and then you keep it wide. All right. So you actually stand still. When you're gonna practice the snowplow, you're gonna stand still like this. Let me explain you all the details of this technique now. Um, so first you get some speed, of course. Then you open up as wide as you, uh, as you can. Ah, not like, like in a split, but, but pretty, 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 pretty wide, okay? And then if you point your toes a little bit inwards, then your feet will want to come together, but you're gonna uh, resist them coming together. And that resistance, that's where the breaking is. So you have to actively find that resistance as well. If you don't feel any resistance, you're doing it wrong. Let me just show you a couple uh, snow plows here. Boom. Boom. I love that technique, feels so good. Okay, it's an essential beginner's technique. You need to learn this. It's also good to know the, the downsides of this technique because it's not perfect. The downside is, is that your, your legs are in a triangle shape like this. And that if you fall, you fall pretty hard. There's no way to like do a nice um, falling technique like you learned from us in a previous video, of course. I've seen people, I've seen people fall really hard with this. So there's actually one technique that's, that's better. This is gonna be the subject of the next video. And this technique is called the soul slide. So in it, you do exactly the same, but the, the snow plow is symmetrical. So left and right part of your body are doing exactly the same, but the soul slide is asymmetrical. So one foot remains underneath your nose and the other is doing all the sliding. So me as an experienced skater, I'm not doing the, the snowplow technique anymore that much because the sole slide is so much better and so much more safe. Uh, so you, you need to subscribe to the channel because we're gonna do a video about that later as well. Let me show it to you one more time how this is going. So you take some speed, boom, and then you just break with one foot like this. That's the sole slide. And this was a video about the pizza point and the snow plow. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you learned something and wanna let us know, drop it in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.